In Module 4, Lesson 13, we start multiplying unit fractions times unit fractions. Okay, let's get started. We're talking about half of one-third pan of brownies. So we'll take our rectangular model, and we'll partition it into three equal parts. You need to remember to label one whole. We're going to shade one-third And then we're going to bracket that and label it one-third. We want one-half of one-third pan of brownies. I will partition my rectangular model, my area model, into two equal parts going horizontally. I will now bracket one-half, and I'll shade this going the opposite direction. So what do we have? Well, if I look at my model, I have six equal parts. That's my denominator. How many parts are shaded in two directions or double shaded? One out of the six. So the answer is one-sixth. Continuing. A fourth of a third of a pan of brownies. Again, we'll start with our second factor. We divide this into three equal parts. This is one third. We'll shade it. Now we need to partition it horizontally into four equal parts. We'll label this one fourth. We'll shade it going the second direction. The double shaded portion is uh, one of these, and one out of how many? 1 out of 12, so my denominator is 12, my numerator is 1. Moving right along, uh, no longer word problems, simply representations. When we have 1 fourth of 1 fourth, we are talking about the multiplication problem. 1 fourth times 1 fourth. We'll start with our second factor, making our rectangular model, bracketing the whole, we're going to divide this into four equal parts. We'll shade one of the four. And we'll bracket that and label it one-fourth. We want one-fourth of one-fourth, so I'm going to make horizontal lines, partitioning my rectangle into four equal parts. I want one-fourth of that one-fourth, so I'm going to shade this single uh, cell right here. Again, how many do I have in all? I have 16. If I count these, I have 16. 4 by 4 is 16. One out of the 16 is shaded. One more example. One half of one sixth is one half times one sixth. We'll take our model, bracket the whole. We're going to partition it into five equal parts, or six rather. And we'll, we'll shade one of the six and bracket and label. Partition it into two equal parts because my denominator is two. If I look at my total number of portions that I've cut this into, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have 12 as our denominator, and one of those is double shaded, so it's 1 12th. This is an interesting problem. It doesn't uh, appear in your homework, but it, conceptually it's interesting, so I'm going to include it with uh, this video. I want to compare two models. I want to draw a rectangular fraction model of 3 times 1 fourth and 1 third times 1 fourth. Compare multiplying a number by 3 and 1 third. Well, if I take a look here, I can make my rectangular model like this for 3 times 1 fourth. This will be one whole. I'm going to partition this into four equal parts. I'm going to shade 3 out of 4. So that's 1 fourth times 3, 
which is three fourths, right? Because I have one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth equals three fourths. Now we'll model one third times one fourth. Again, we'll partition it into four equal parts. I shade in one fourth, representing the second factor. Now I'm going to partition it into thirds, going horizontally. And sh double shade in this ca case. We can clearly see that the double shaded portion of one third times one fourth is much smaller than the shaded portion of three times one fourth. So how could I compare them? I'd say that three times one fourth is greater than one third times one fourth. Okay, these wor these word problems are pretty straightforward. We'll read them. You have similar ones in your homework. Of one half of Ila's workspace is covered in paper. One third of the paper is covered in sticky notes. What fraction of Ila's workspace is covered in yellow sticky notes? Draw a picture to support your answer. All right. Rectangular model. Bracket it. One hole. We're going to represent one half of that workspace. So we'll partition into two equal parts using one vertical line and shade one half. We'll bracket that and label it one half. One third of that paper is covered with the yellow sticky notes. So we'll partition it into three equal parts going horizontally. Label one third. Double shade. What do we have? We have one out of six shaded. So one sixth of Ela's workspace is covered with yellow sticky notes. And there's the picture to support your answer. A marching band is rehearsing in rectangular formation. One fifth of the marching band members play percussion instruments. One half the percussionists plays, play the snare drum. What fraction of all the band members play the snare drum? Well, we'll draw a rectangle here. And that's one whole marching band. We're going to now partition this into five equal parts. And we'll label and shade one fifth representing the percussion players. Now half of the percussionists play snare drums. So we're now going to partition my rectangular area model into halves going horizontally. We'll bracket one half, double shade, and we see that we have ten partitions in all. We've cut our one hole to ten equal parts. One is double shaded. So one-tenth of all the band members play the snare drum. Marie is making a bedspread for her grandson's new bedroom. Two-thirds of the bread spread is covered in race cars, and the rest is striped. One-fourth of the striped are red. What fraction of the bedspread is covered in red stripes? Hmm, this one's a little more complicated. Got a couple things going on here. One. We uh, aren't using a unit fraction because the unit fraction for thirds would be one third, so that's a little different. And the other thing is, is we have to figure out how much of this is in stripes. They give us the race car part, but not the stripes. Not too hard to figure out, though. So we're going to use this diagram, and we're going to maybe flush things out just a little bit more. So we say two thirds is race car. Okay. Okay, so two-thirds race car, RC. And then we can determine that the rest is striped, right? So striped. And we want to know which fraction of the bed spread is covered in red stripes. Okay, so let's let's not part let's not uh, shade the race car part. We're gonna 
shade the striped part because that's what we're referring to. You had to figure that out, but the diagram made it easy. One fourth of the stripes are red. We'll partition this into four equal parts going horizontally. And we can say that this is the red. We could also say one fourth. We could also say one third. Double shade this portion. We can see that one out of 12 equal parts is shaded in red. So one twelfth of the bedspread is covered in red stripes.